small spot in the shade Pink lemonade, pink lemonade Everything is going my way Pink lemonade, pink lemonade Today I'm gonna show you how to go from reality to animation. This effect is mostly used in music videos. If you guys know who Cole Bennett is, he's known for doing this animation style in his music videos and he inspired me to do this tutorial for you guys today. If you guys are new here, my name is Jared Majors. I post filmmaking and editing tutorials every single week. If you guys want to learn about filmmaking or editing, make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the bell notification. All right guys, let's get into it. So now that we're in Adobe Premiere Pro, I have my clip on the timeline here and it's a very simple clip. I'm just looking down and then I look up at the camera. Um, what we're going to need to do is find the spot where we want to start animating. So right when I look up is where I'm going to want to animate. So right here looks good. And what we're going to need to do is just take a screen grab of this clip. So we're going to have to come right here where it says export frames. If you don't have that button, you're going to come to this little plus icon and grab the camera and bring it down to your um, timeline here. I already did that. So I'm just going to click on it. And once you click on this, all you're going to do is see this little pop up and you're going to rename it. I'm going to rename it still and click OK. And once you click OK, the still image is going to pop up in your project panel with all your other clips and it will also pop up on your desktop as well. So the easiest way to do this effect is in Adobe Animation. If you have a creative style of filmmaking or you shoot music videos, I definitely suggest learning how to use Adobe Animation. I'm gonna show you guys step by step of how to use it and you guys can kind of get a feel for the layout. It's really easy to do. If you're used to Adobe products, then you will be perfectly fine in animation as well. Real quick, I just wanted to let you guys know that I created an animation effects pack in Adobe Animation. So if you guys don't want to go in there and create it or you guys don't have animation, you guys can use the link in the description below and download that effects pack. It's really easy to use. I created a bunch of different type of animations and all you do is just drag and drop it over your footage. You can use it in any editing software and yeah, let's get back to the tutorial. All right guys, so now that we're in Adobe Animate, this is what it looks like once it's open. You're gonna wanna click on Create New. Once you click on Create New, this window is gonna open up and you're gonna wanna pick the option that you filmed in. So I filmed in 4K, so I'm gonna click on the 4K option. They also have a full HD 1080p option as well as a 720 option, but I'm gonna go ahead and click on the 4K. And once you click on your uh, option, you're gonna wanna come to the right-hand side and make sure that all the settings are the same. So right here it says frame rate and it says 24 frames a second. So I'm gonna keep it at that cause that's what I filmed in. And then I'm just gonna click on create guys and we should be good to go. All right, now that we are in Adobe Anime, I'm just gonna grab the still that we got from Adobe Premiere Pro and put that right onto my editing window. If it's a little bit off center, that's all right. We can just drag that right over and make sure that it is perfectly center, just like that. And now if you look at the bottom, you'll see that there is a window down here. It kind of looks like the timeline and that's exactly what it is. It's the timeline that we're going to be working in today. You're going to see it says layer one right here. And what we're going to do is click on this little plus icon to create a new layer. So the new layer right here is going to be layer two. This is the layer that we're going to be drawing our outline in. Um, most of the stuff we'll be doing is in this layer. All right, and then on the left hand side here, you're going to see all your tools. The ones you're going to need to worry about today are just the brushes. So the brushes and then maybe the erase tool in case you mess up. We're going to click on the bottom brush right here and then we're going to come over to the right hand side and you're going to see these are all the things we can adjust with that brush. We're going to come up to the top and we're going to go to brushes and then we're going to come down to artistic and then ink. And then you're going to come over and click on calligraphy 2. This is going to give you that kind of rough brush effect that we're looking for. All right. And then now we're going to come back over to properties and come down. And now you can see that that calligraphy 2 is uh, picked. And then now all we're going to have to worry about is size and color. We're going to keep the color black and we're just going to bump up the size of this brush a little bit for the outline. I think I'm going to make it. Uh, let's make it 10. All right, and that looks good to me. We're gonna keep that black. And now we can start drawing. One thing you're gonna need to know is how to zoom in and out. What you're gonna need to do is click Command and scroll with your mouse on a Mac. 
on a Windows, you're going to want to click Alt and scroll. And that's to zoom in and out so you can draw. So right here, all you're going to do is just draw all the way around your body. You're going to want to do all the wrinkles and things like that too. That will make the effect pop a little bit more and add more detail to the drawing you can make this as detailed as you want or as little detail as you want honestly it is all up to your artistic choice so right here i'm just outlining um, my shirt and it's pretty easy you don't have to be super accurate with this like i said it's all up to you how you want to make your outline look but even if it's rough it still looks really really cool so here we go i'm just going to keep going around the shirt and you know what i'm actually going to speed this up so you guys don't have to sit through it and then i will be right back in a second all right now when it comes to drawing on your face it's a little bit weird because it's kind of confusing you're drawing on your face and it kind of it, it just feels weird and not right but all you're gonna do is just follow the lines of your face so right here I'm just gonna be going around my nostrils and on my nose and then you're gonna want to do the same thing to your lips what we're doing here is just creating the outline we're not coloring in anything yet this is just gonna be the hard outline that's gonna be around our um, around our drawing so here we're, I'm just doing my eyes you don't have to be super detailed obviously you don't want to be like too crazy I mean you could if that's your artistic style but right here I'm just going around my eyes and making sure that everything looks good um, yeah and now I'm gonna draw in my pupil completely black and for your eyebrows instead of drawing your little hairs hair is really weird drawing on this so instead of drawing every single little hair fiber you're just gonna make the brush size a lot bigger and that will kind of give you the same exact effect so that's a little bit too thin so I'm actually gonna bump that up a little bit and make them thicker that looks good I know it looks funny right now but trust me at the end it will look really awesome I'm gonna bring the brush size back down to 10 and I'm gonna do the cross that's on my face and then hair is really weird to do so I have a beard and it took me a while to figure this out but I finally got it so I'm going to do my lips really quick and then I'll explain how to actually do hair. So right after I'm done doing these lips, I'm going to go over to my hair. So with hair, all I'm going to do is create little lines all the way around the outside of the hair. And then on the inside, I'm going to make the brush a little bit bigger and just color in the middle. You don't want to do each individual hair that would take a really, really long time. So all you want to do is make sure the outsides of the hair are fine and then once you have the whole outside done, you can just color in the middle black or whatever color hair you want. So here I'm going to just start with the outside and just kind of make little lines to kind of give it that little detail. And then in the middle, I'm just going to color it all in. All right, and now it looks really weird, but we're gonna create another layer here, and now it should start looking a lot better. So you're gonna create another layer called layer three, and you're gonna wanna drag layer three underneath layer two. The reason why we're dragging it underneath layer two is because we're gonna be coloring in this drawing that we just did, and we want the black lines to stay on top of our colors. So right now we're gonna actually grab the classic brush, which is the middle brush on the left-hand side in our tool window, and you're gonna come over to the right hand side and now all you're gonna do is drag it up and make the brush a little bit bigger and then right where it says fill you're just gonna click on that and then hover over the color you want to mimic so right here I just am gonna hover over my shirt and it's gonna copy the exact color of my shirt and boom that's it see now you can see that it's in the fill window and now I'm gonna start coloring and I'm gonna speed this up so you guys do not have to sit through all of this And now we're gonna do the same exact thing to my skin. So again, you're gonna click on fill and then click on the color of your skin. And now you can just start coloring away.
I'm doing the same thing to my eyes here. Just coloring around the outside of my eyes. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for the color that's inside my eyes and so on and so forth. You're gonna do this for every single color that you wanna use in your uh, drawing. So here I'm just gonna color around my pupil. Here's a little cool trick that you can do as well to make your eyes a little bit more lively. I'm gonna click on white and then at the top left uh, corner of your eye, you're just gonna put a little dot there and it's gonna give you a little reflection in your eye. It kind of brings your eyes to life. And now we're just gonna keep on going. I'm doing my lips now. And yeah, I'm gonna speed this up so you don't have to sit through it. And once you're happy with your drawing, you're gonna wanna come up to file you're gonna click on file, you're gonna come down to export, and then you're gonna come down to export video and media. Once you click on export video and media, this window's gonna pop up and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the settings are all the same. One thing you wanna make sure is that you have this box checked underneath the frame size. So it says ignore background color or something like that. You're just gonna to wanna to make sure that is clicked and then you're gonna come on down, make sure this is QuickTime and it is set to default. And now all you're gonna need to do is click export and you are good to go. All right, now we're back in Adobe Premiere Pro and I already imported my clip that we did in Adobe Animate and I also have my original clip here as well. All we're gonna do is find the spot we took the screenshot at and we're gonna drag our animation above that. Once you have it set above that, I'm just gonna open this up a little bit and all we're gonna need to do now is mask it out. So you're gonna come over to the left hand side under opacity and grab the box. Once you grab the box, it should pop up on your screen and now we're just gonna cover our entire screen with this box and uh, I'm gonna speed it up a little bit so you don't have to sit through this. And now, once you have the box fully set over your animation so you can see your animation, we're gonna come back over to the left hand side. Actually, you have to make sure that the playhead is in the front. Yep, just like that. And make sure you click on mask path. You're gonna to wanna to bring that box all the way down so that you can see yourself again, not animated. And then bring that playhead to the end of that little clip. Come back to the left, click on mask so you can see the box and then pull that box all the way up so you can see the animation. And this will just animate the movement of that mask so that it kind of reveals you as an animation. And that's it guys.